So these are just some ideas on how you or your children can make friends as a homeschooling family. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. So today's video is a collaboration hosted by Stephanie from Schulte's Sweeties. If you've not checked out her channel, I recommend that you do. I really enjoy her videos and she's become a really good friend of mine. So lots of great tips on how to homeschool kids multiple ages and using a literature based approach. So her channels are always lots of fun. So I'll link her channel in the description box below along with the playlist of all the moms who are talking about today's topic. So I'm filming this still at my in-laws house so the lighting's not perfect but I'm sure you will forgive me. Today's topic is homeschooling and friendships. So what I want to say about homeschooling and friendships is it's pretty much the same as friendships in other aspects of your life. How much you put in is how much you get out. So there are definitely ways to make friends as homeschooling parents. There's definitely ways for your, your kids to make friends. However, I will say, especially for your kids, it will be a little more intentional because they're not just hanging around a bunch of kids all day, every day. So you definitely have to put in a little more effort to help your kids meet people who they can become friends with and a little more effort in making sure that they get together with their friends on a regular basis. This isn't going to come automatically. However, I think you'll find that your friendships and their friendships can be a lot more solid and a lot more in depth than the casual acquaintances that people meet just because they have to hang out with certain people. So that is definitely one of the benefits of homeschooling. If you are intentional, you can make deep and long lasting friendships that go beyond just knowing each other because you happen to hang out or your kids happen to spend all day with them at school. So as a new homeschooler, I was very intentional at the very beginning, trying to find things for my kids to do with other homeschoolers more so that they realize that homeschooling is something that lots of kids do and it wasn't just them who were going to be doing this. So one of the first things that I did in order to try to facilitate friendships was join up for a nature walk, nature group. I heard about a Charlotte Mason Facebook group that organized nature walks and so I got into that group and I started joining all of the nature walks that were happening. They were usually once a week or maybe every two weeks depending on who was organizing it and how often we wanted to get together but we were consistent in going to that group. I wouldn't say my kids made long lasting friendships in there but they did see other kids who were homeschooling and got to hang out with them on a regular basis. Actually, actually there is one friend that we do actually still see from three years ago when we met during that nature walk group so I do have to take that back. We do get together probably every few months to hang out and my boys actually really enjoy hanging out with her son and I really enjoy hanging out with her. So I was going to say that I actually made more friends probably than my kids did that are more long term through that group. Because of that group that I joined three years ago, I do have that friend who we get together with whenever we can. We don't live super close to each other and we're not doing all the same things, but we do really enjoy hanging out when we get the chance. So I made that friend. And then I have another friend that I'm still in contact with that we do a book club, a Charlotte Mason book club group together. And we meet probably about once a month if we can, sometimes a little less. But through her and the friendship I made there, I've also met some other ladies who joined our book club. So that's just one way to make friends as a homeschool mom. Join in some groups, try to find opportunities for your kids and yourself to make friends. I will say that homeschooling has deepened my friendship with some people who I was friends with before, but I was not homeschooling and they were homeschooling. Now that we're homeschooling, we do have more opportunities to get together. And I will say that those friendships are so valuable. So these are friends that I see on a multiple times a week basis. We see each other at church. We have decided to do sort of a homeschool group. So we get together usually once a week with our kids and us. And so our kids know each other really well. 
and they're definitely deepening their relationships there and we know each other really well and it's such a great support to have people who you see consistently and know your kids and know you and you can really share what is happening in your life in your homeschool and they're just to be an encouragement or just there to be to say hey they understand they've been there too so that's another way that i've really found my friendships growing and blossoming since we started homeschooling okay so this is editing davine i know i'm outside i wasn't editing outside but my kids are inside and rather noisy so <laughs> i just wanted to add another thing i hope this isn't too shaky Another thing that we did last year was we were just in Facebook groups, local Facebook groups, and we just keep our eyes open for opportunities to hang out with other people when we have the time. We do run out of time. Um, but last year, for example, there was a mom in there saying, hey, do you want to get together and get trampoline passes? They are really cheap. Let's um, set up a time where we can meet and our kids can just jump together and we can hang out. And so I jumped on that. Um, there were two other moms who joined in and it was lots of fun getting to know these moms because they're totally out of my normal circle. And one is just, um, one has one son who she homeschools and the other family were actually from Norway and they were just visiting for the year. Her husband works in a factory. He was setting up a factory or setting up something, some processes or something. So they were here for a year. They're from Norway. So their kids were just homeschooling this year. And it, so it was lots of fun just getting to know some people who were different from us, who are from different countries, and just being able to hang out and create friendships with them. And yeah, even when we stopped doing the trampoline, we canceled our passes eventually. We still made sure that we hung out with them before they left to go back for Norway. So just, um, just another way that you can make friends, just be in those groups looking for opportunities. Um, there's often park days and things like that. So just be there looking for the opportunities. Another way to make friendships for yourself, probably more than your kids, that is just online. I know that is not ideal. In person is always wonderful. However, I know some of you probably live in more rural areas. It might be harder to find a in-person group. I have found so much support and friendship online. I have found in the Facebook groups, um, great support. I would say don't feel shy about asking people to chat further or asking people if they would want to message back and forth a little bit. I have found some wonderful friends who I have not met in person, but are some of my best homeschooling friends just online. We message back and forth, we keep in contact, we pray for each other, we talk about our struggles with each other we give each other advice so don't discount friendship that you can find online of course being in person is ideal but that is not always possible for some people and I would say even though it is possible for me to find in-person friendship there's a lot of value in my online friendships I have met some wonderful ladies who I really enjoy hanging out with who really have become really good friends and a really great support system for myself and my homeschool so if you are considering starting homeschooling, I would say there's a few things that you can do. Number one, I would say, obviously, if you have friends who homeschool, try to hang out with them a little bit. See if they want to do something more regularly. It can be once a week, once every two weeks, once a month. It, really, it doesn't matter as long as there's something consistent that you guys know that you guys can do together and you're able to spend more time together, deepening those friendships and allowing your kids to have more of those friendships. Another thing I would consider doing is I would look for local Facebook groups. There's often a local Facebook group. If it's not super local, you can join one of those that's a little more statewide and then you can see if there's interest in doing something. It can be as easy as meeting at a park once a week, different parks. That's what we've done. We've just met at different parks. You can set up play dates. You can do something like nature journaling where you go on a hike and you do some nature journaling. It doesn't have to be something super complicated or organized. There's usually someone else out there who is looking for that kind of community. And that's a really easy, low pressure way to start that or if you can find groups like that to join, it's a really nice way to get to know other homeschool moms 
and have your kids get to know other homeschool kids. Of course, if you are a Christian or you have a community like that, you can always look within your church or whatever organization you go to and see if there are other homeschooling parents who might be interested in meeting together somewhat regularly. That's always a way to do it. And then as far as my children, how do they make friends outside of these homeschool mom and homeschool groups? My children do different things. Sometimes they're in baseball, sometimes they're doing dance, sometimes they're in Taekwondo. So these are just some ideas on how you or your children can make friends as a homeschooling family. If you're considering homeschooling and you're wondering how all that works, or you've been homeschooling a while and you really feel like you have not been able to create some long lasting friendships, um, these are some ideas that hopefully will help you find your community. It does take a while. We have been homeschooling three years and I am lucky in that I did have some built in pretty good friends that were homeschooling and we've only grown closer but there are some other people who I just met maybe six months ago who I'm really close to because of some similar, similar backgrounds and similar struggles that we have with our children. So it doesn't have to take a long time, but in general, deep friendships do take some time. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you have some tips going forward if you're struggling in finding friendships for yourself or your kids. Thank you, Stephanie, for organizing this collaboration. I think it's a great topic. Don't forget to check the playlist below to see what all the other moms share about homeschooling and friendship and how all that works. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified of the next video that I put up. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everybody.